today on the TMZ Podcast. Hello and welcome to the TMZ Podcast. I'm Charlie Cotton and today I'm joined by Wild. Hello, Charlie. How are you? I'm good, thank you, Wild. I actually saw on your Instagram yesterday you did an impression oh. of my intro to the podcast. Yes. Could I hear that? No, in- I'm not doing it now. You trying to get me cancelled? Show me. No, it's not. Wild thinks it's racist to do an Australian It's like accent. insensitive, isn't it, to no. like people that are from Australia? No, no. I- I'm giving you a pass, Okay, right? so you go, hello, I'm Charlie Cotton, and welcome to the TMZ podcast. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's okay. It's pretty good. Like, it's pretty good. Not okay, bad. Not, not a bad effort. <laughs> well, thanks for joining me, Wild. We got some juicy stories to sink our teeth in. Mm-hmm. Segway, one of them is about Biden's biting dog. <laughs> yes. His dog won't stop biting people, and it's been... It's, it's a little concerning. Packed his bag. Yeah. It's, it's been sent from the White House. Uh, we'll talk about that. Also, Drake revealed in a new song that 21 Savage now has a green card and so can leave the States to tour. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is off the back of, we found out a few years ago that he's actually not from America. Not at all. He's from the UK, mm-hmm. but we all thought he's American. Uh, we're going to talk about a viral story right now. This cop in Minneapolis uh, she pulled some guy over and he recognized her from her OnlyFans, mm-hmm. which is a big story right now. Why well, I feel like we always talk about sex work when I'm here. Uh, I don't know. Why do we I always gotta... pick those stories for you, Wild? <laughs> you got a brand support, about town. I support sex workers. I know you do. That's okay. why we pick you. Okay, thank you. On to our first story. <laughs> Khloe Kardashian mm-hmm. is living with Trim- Tristan Thompson. Yes. Tristan Thompson, well, is living with Khloe Kardashian in her house. Mm-hmm. It's her house. He had like, you know, his house, the roof fell in yeah. um, when there was all flooding in SoCal. Mm-hmm. And so he needed a place to stay, moved in with Chloe. Obviously, recently he's lost his mum, So mm-hmm. he's going through something. So it's pretty hard to get this guy to move out right now. Yeah. Uh, I think we should play the clip, but I have a lot of thoughts on this and I'm mad. Oh, okay. Play the clip. We'll be in suspense. The thing that always sticks to my mind, it's like... I know how much I care about you. I, I know how much I love you. You're my best friend. How come I, like, I meet my person? How come I've done so much wrong things to them? Like, why, 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 why put you through that? I'm not saying I don't believe him, but I've heard this, and of course it's angered me before because I'm like, well, if I am, then why would you have treated me this way? And how many times you know like it's this isn't like oh a one-time thing and here we are so give us your thoughts wild first of all there are i would rather clean the streets of los angeles with a goddamn toothbrush than let my ex that cheated on me multiple times live in my house wow that is i don't care (laughs) if tristan was homeless in the streets he could not live in my home like go live with marley but he's also who's marley that's the woman that he had the baby by. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but isn't he like, he seems like Mm-mm. genuinely apologetic. Don't care. They sh- share two kids. I don't care. They had seven kids. He also shares a kid with someone else that he had True. while he was with Chloe. Like there's levels to being a fool and Chloe has peaked. Like, But I-, I used to think that maybe like, yeah, she's like once a cheater, always a cheater. Why isn't you kicking him out? But look at that face of his. That's like, the it's, problem. It's he's a like, cute face. he's so good looking. Yeah. Man. He just, he comes in there, he bats his eyes, and Chloe lets him move in. And I just, uh, stand up, Chloe. Like, I want Chloe to have a backbone. This is not it. So it doesn't matter if, if he's grieving and his house is caved in. Mm-mm. You could you can sleep outside. Tristan's also not like us. Like, he's rich, y'all. Yeah, so true. for us, we're like, oh, you know, it's nice. Let someone live with you at, for a certain period of time. They're going through some things. Tristan, he can go look, get an Airbnb. Yeah, a house in could. Los Angeles. He could easily. You're mm-hmm. right. He's still playing basketball, is he? Still playing basketball. Plays so, for Cleveland now. Oh, so he's got plenty of money. Got money. He got dough. How often is he here then? Is he only here in LA when basketball's not in season or they're not practicing? Or typically, training? yeah. Typically, he's in LA for full time and then he goes and travels for basketball and things like that. But I just think that there's no way Chloe's going to let him go. It's like, and I feel like she lets him move back in in hopes that they somehow rekindle the relationship. Like. She's hoping that one day he looks over and he goes, kind of like you. Like, but he does. That's what he's doing. Mm-hmm. That's what he's doing. Mm-hmm. He's professing his love to her now. He obviously wants to get back with her. He already lives there. It must be hard for her to sort of like, how do you, are, are they sleeping in the same bed? That's the question. Because she said, we're just friends. But like, 
I can't imagine being just fake. I'm going to do a little butt tap. Or yes. Something. You know what I, I'm saying? And like, everybody, you know, has needs and blah, exactly. blah, blah. I bet they still have sex even though they're exes. Mm, and, al- and also, if they weren't sleeping in the same bed, that she'd say, we're not even sleeping in the same bed. Uh-huh. Yeah, they would say it and make it very it. clear. She'd we're him... not having sex. So, I mean, it, it's almost like they're back together. But this yeah. is like a soft launch. It is. She's trying to like see how we feel about it. So she'll look at the internet today and see if we're cursing her out and shit. I don't mind. I just think, you know, people make mistakes and no. like he seems like he's um, okay. contrite. Well, he can make his mistake on the outside. True. On the outside. He's not in my house. I like that. Okay. On to our next story. Drake just released a new song called 8 a.m. in Charlotte, and he made a stunning revelation. Mm -hmm. He said, Savage got a green card straight out of the consulate. Where I go, you go. Brother, we Yugoslavian. I don't don't know if he said it like that. (laughs) What does that Yugoslavian thing mean at the end? I don't know, but when you rap it, it just never sounds cool, Charlie. That was the first time I read it, so I was just like... (laughs) But Drake has revealed that 21 Savage got his green card. But this is like big news, though, because they're touring right now. The tour is set to go to Canada um, soon. Yes, Drake's hometown, Mm -hmm, Toronto, I believe. mm -hmm. So obviously, 21 Savage, before this news, you'd say, well, he can't go to any of the international stops. Right. But I guess you can. He can now. Um, it's strange that this is the way the announcement I got my visa was made. Yeah. But I guess it's the best way to <laughs> get high. If you're a rapper, I guess yeah, you just drop it in a song. I, I can't get over the fact that we still, we for so long did not know that 21 Savage was not I know. from Atlanta. I know, like, I know. Well, I mean, I read about him. Uh, both his parents were um, British, England, living mm-hmm. in London, but they're of Caribbean descent. Mm-hmm. And then they divorced and the his mother moved to Atlanta yeah. and had a whole new family in Atlanta with an Atlanta man. Yeah, he was like seven, I think, when he moved here. He was here. seven, yes. Mm-hmm. And for some reason, he went back for someone's funeral in London. And when he came back to America that time, they only got this visa that expired after a year. Uh-huh. So since the age of, I don't know, like 10 or I don't Whatever, know, yeah. where he was really young, he has been like illegally here, I suppose. Mm-hmm. I don't know how, like, you know, at school or at the doctors or don't you need, like, official stuff to get into stuff? I don't know, Charlie. You're not from America. Do you need those things? Yeah. Like, if I want to go and see a doctor, I need some sort of health. I'm so dumb at this. Health card. You know what I mean? I I need some official, like, I live here. I'm a kind of a resident here. Okay. I'm, I'm on the books. I got my social security. I have a question. How often are you asked to show your green card, though? Like, is it, like... Is I, it possible that 21 could have gotten away with it for years? Or are you asked like... I guess never. I'm never asked oh. to present my green card. But uh, maybe his mum, maybe because he was underage, he was under 18. Yeah. His, his mum, who at that point maybe was actually had the right mm-hmm. visa. Because she was married to an American mm-hmm. man, she got the visa that way. Ah. The American man that the mum married could have adopted 21 Savage, you know, and made it a whole lot easier. Well, that, I guess he did not. But he but, didn't adopt him. Well, we Man, this know, is going deep it into this. seem like it. Yeah, but. This is just a stream of consciousness right now. Yeah. <laughs> but he's got his green card right now. He can leave the States. So mm-hmm. people in Canada are rejoicing. Yes. You're a big fan of 21 Savage? I'm a pretty big fan of 21 Savage. I like Drake. I like hip hop. You do? Yeah. On to our next story. Uh, Biden's dog. What's his name? Major or Commander? Which one's Commander. this? Commander. Commander. Commander has been kicked out of the White House. Mm-hmm. Uh, 10 strikes and you're out. Because he now doesn't live at the White House. I don't know where he lives now. The, the geographic location of the dog is unknown at this moment. Mm-hmm. But my question is, if a dog bites 10 or 11 people, and wh- why hasn't this dog been put down? And it, it was, wasn't just like 10, or 10 people throughout the course of his life. It was 10 people from October 2022 to January 2023. That's like, I don't know how many months. I'm bad at math. October, November, December. Jan- that's like three, four-ish wow. months. Wow. That's like quite a strike rate. Uh, a com- bite rate. Commander was is. on like a Cujo rampage through the, sh- the, the streets of the White House. Like, One of the people had to be sent to hospital. Yeah, it's, it's insane. To hospital for a dog bite. I, I just... Or, or I just think like, you know, I don't like when dogs are put down and that sort of stuff, but I just read stories mm-hmm. that, you know, someone, a dog bit this person and the dog has to be put down. So, I mean, if the president isn't above the law, why is his dog? No, that's a really good point. And the, the White House has said on numerous occasions that Commander was just stressed. It's a very stressful environment in the White House. But like, I, I see stressed out dogs all the time. They ain't just rampantly attacking people in the streets. Right, right. Like, 
What are your What are the dogs you see stressed out about? Just like but trying like, to get to work. You know, like people take their dogs to like Ralph's here yeah. in LA. People take their dogs into like Target they or like, it. like yeah, and like dogs get weirded out in public places. Isn't it kind of like you know one bite shame on you, two bite shame on me? Kind of like why didn't Biden and everyone remove this dog from the White House mm. after say three bites? You get three bites after that. He got up to ten or eleven bites. Well, I think it was also because Major had to be removed from the White House. So, so I the think first dog had to be removed for biting. Yes. Well, for just just being a terror in the White House. Oh I think Biden God. was a part of that. But I think the White House was trying to avoid a bad press incident right. by kicking Commander out of the White House. I think they were trying to hold on to it as long as they could. And now it's out. And now everybody's like, where the hell y'all keep getting these dogs from? Because look, look, I'm not the biggest fan of Trump, but could mm. you imagine if this sort of thing happened with Trump in the White House, like it'd be big news. Uh -huh. And it feels like this is not even news right no, now. No, it's not news. The first one was news though when they kicked Major out. I think there are other things going on in the country. Oh, okay. There's bigger yeah. stories? Yeah, there's bigger political stories right now. Right, true, we, true. Yeah, we, we don't have a House speaker right now, so <laughs> people are a little worried about <laughs> yeah, that. that's like, true. They probably slipped in this yeah. news like <laughs> just while I'll... wait. Yeah, just wait until we kick out Kevin McCarthy and let everybody know Commander's out too. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> we, you get one, we get one. Yep. <laughs> On to our final story. Oh, it's my favorite story. I love this story. Uh, a cop who pulled over a man in Minneapolis was recognized because he was a subscriber mm -hmm. to her OnlyFans page. Yep. So I couldn't find the name of the cop. Could you find the name of her anywhere? No, no. The cop hasn't been officially named yet. Wouldn't she want to be named? Like, I don't... It's good for her online... It's good for her online business, but I'm sure she wants to keep her job. So if they name her in this and then she can't kind of but, transfer to another place... But her workplace knows who she is. Yeah, but the world doesn't. Right. Okay. Well, anyway, her workplace is mm -hmm. like District 4, New yeah. York or uh -huh. something. It's It's a... Or Minneapolis. Minneapolis. Minneapolis, I'm afraid. I'm sorry. Uh, they are now investigating this, mm -hmm. um, which, you, if, you give me your take. All right. So first of all, the man said he recognized her in like 10 minutes. So he, she pulled him over. He goes, hmm. Aren't you, uh, uh, aren't you sexy foot? One, two, three. I'm joking. Yeah, I don't know, yeah, I don't know yeah. if that's her name, but that's basically how the, the situation went down. The police department is, they're not. They haven't like initially, they haven't fired her. So okay. they're still kind of investigating. They're trying to figure out whether she violated any police policies. Mm. But I feel like people should be allowed to do what they want with their bodies. Like right. I tell people all the time, I tell y'all in this building, the moment the buzzer stops at TMZ, I'm going on OnlyFans. Like oh, I oh. am dipping it low, picking it up slow. Like I So 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 the moment you get you get fired from TMZ. If I get fired, ever, you know? <laughs> you're going to go straight to OnlyFans. I just feel like, why? What am I going to do with my body when I'm dead? Like, we're past the point as a society where we're like shaming people for doing things. Like, I just you do foot stuff, obviously. I would do it all. I would no, actually. Wow. I don't know. I don't know if I do like the full full. You've got the down. name for it, wild. Like, I could see I, that. I, I go up. to the gym. I'm like practicing. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> wow. No, but I just think people should be allowed to do whatever they I, want outside of work I, as I long agree. as it doesn't impact what they're doing. I think that in this situation, it is a little weird because I don't know if it uh, impacts her ability to be a authority figure in the community if she's still a sex well, worker. I think she is, should be. But. That is the thing, right? Because this guy who was the subscriber who was pulled over, mm -hmm. he gave an interview to like a local news station with his voice all like this, like a robot right. so that you wouldn't recognize. <laughs> and he said, that when this when he recognizes finally recognized the cop, he thought to himself, "You can't arrest me. I've seen your private parts." Mm. He said, "I can't respect you or the precinct you are working at." He, that's what he was thinking in his head, yeah. um, and that's what he said to the news station. So, if I'm her boss, reading that, I'm like, ah, it's a tough spot. It's a tough like, yeah, you don't want to like you know fire someone for doing something that isn't actually against the rules mm -hmm. or the, that you've set. And you're right. Like, we shouldn't be ashamed of our bodies. Whatever you do in private, you know, as long as it's not illegal, it should be whatever. Right. But because she's in an authoritative sort of thing, yeah. dealing with men, who, like, you know, it's just a weird situation. It that does she... make it weird. It's a weird gray area. Yeah. So what do you think? Do you think they should let her keep her job? Are you keen I think to... they should let her keep her job. I think she just needs to adjust her, like, OnlyFans content. So she can stay on OnlyFans, stop, ba like, apparently she's banging her husband Yeah, and that, that, that's one, that's where I go, mm, a little too far. Like, we shouldn't see a sex face if you're a police officer. Is, is that where it stops for you? Yeah, I think if she does, like, nude photos, maybe, like, okay. a lot of solo content. <laughs> okay. Maybe not show all the goods, but just do a little something, something, a little nipple. Then I think that's cool. Okay. Like, everybody goes to the beach. We all wear bikinis, but, like. <laughs> you wear bikinis? Well, I don't wear bikinis, but you know what I'm saying. Like, it's <laughs> Yes, like, yes. Okay. Yeah, I just like that. Just kind of make it, like, soft, 
Softcore. I like I don't that. Know if I'm allowed to say that. But. Softcore. And 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 just to end with what like how far would you go on your OnlyFans? Oh, I'm busting it open. Wow. I, I would... can't wait for the day you get ah! fired, Wild. You may be my producer, but I can't wait for the day you get fired. <laughs> well, follow me now, just so I you'll know when I drop the link to my OnlyFans. <laughs> Thank you for joining me, mate. Thanks, Charlie. It was fun. It was fun, and we'll see you guys here tomorrow. Bye.